Well, a candlelight vigil was held to remember a toddler whose life was cut short in a deadly fire early Sunday morning. Crowds of people coming out to remember Delvin Paisley. He was the uh, two-year-old who tragically passed away along with four other children in the daycare fire. Saida Abbas was at the vigil. We want to continue to support this family. The candlelight vigil for Dalvin Paisley saw an outpour of support from the community. His grandmother, Melissa Fasciano, still coping with the loss. Just trying to focus on helping my daughter um, through, you know, the emotional turmoil of, um, I guess, dealing with the every day. You know, you wake up and kind of go through it kind of again, you know, when you realize they're not there. Fasciano said she's been trying to have a positive outlook. Just trying to keep myself grounded in reality um, and not think about the, you know, what ifs and know that he's in a better place. The city also mourning the tragic loss of life. Strangers to the incident told me they too are feeling for the victims at this vigil. It was just like very upsetting. Like it was hard to believe. Like. Just from hearing it when I was just sleeping, and I'm a very deep sleeper and stuff, like, it was just sad. Oceana Rieger lives near the daycare. She said that hearing about the incident was traumatizing. I was like, is everybody okay? And then I just heard the story about it, and it was very heartbreaking. Pastor Harry Yule provided comments at the vigil. We're just here to show love and the support that you need and that we will all need in a time like this. Saida Abbas, Jet 24, Action News.